Good evening. I am Brian Reagan, and this is... Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to our Twilight Talks on the Psalms. Tonight we are in Psalm 47, Tyler. Clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, is awesome, a great king over all the earth. He subdued peoples under us and nations under his feet. He chose What? Nations under our feet. Yeah. Did I say that? No, he said under his feet. Under our feet. He chose our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loves. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our king. Sing praises for God is the king of all the earth. Sing praises with a psalm. God is king over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. The princes of the peoples gather at the, as the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is highly exalted. All right. So this is obviously a praise song about God's rule over the nations. And some people uh, look at this. What? I thought the devil... No, the devil is able to function in the earth because Adam gave away his authority. But the whole shooting match, as it were, still belongs to God. But because God gave it to man, there's a certain amount of limitation where God's concerned. But God can and does move certain things at certain times to achieve his desired ends for his overall overarching purpose. And, uh, you know, as it says there, uh, sing praises, sing praises, sing praises, sing praises, sing praises. Five times right there, sing praises. Um, that suggests to us, Tyler, that the Lord God Almighty would have us to sing praises. Sing praises. Um, the princes of the people gather together as the people of the God of Abraham. I see in this a looking forward to the rule of the Messiah, that all the nations will come under him. And uh, the shields of the earth belong to God. He is highly exalted. And, and when you look back at shields, what was the deal with shields? Well, shields is, is the terminology there for military. When you count Solomon's shields and his fortification houses that he built there during... Do what? So there were a lot. They were a lot. And, and it's an interesting thing when you read the accounts of Kings and Chronicles, and it'll record how many of the shields were taken by different invaders at different times. And you go, that's just stupid. Why are they recording that? Um... Unlike today, where we go, oh, well, we're missing $28 trillion in stuff for our military. Let's just print $28 trillion and order a new contract. Um, in the ancient world, you actually had to have this real thing called money. Um, people expected to get paid in copper, in silver, and in gold. That's why we have on our money that we have copper pennies, we used to have silver everything else, and we used to also have gold coins. Now we have replica of copper, silver, and gold. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I won't go off on that tangent that our, all of our money is, is fake and it's just imitation like we had when we were little kids. <laughs> um, So in, in God, in the saying that God controls the shields, if God chooses to have a rain bog you down in the middle of the field of battle, you're done that day. If God chooses to whip up a windstorm or to beat, you know, beat you down with hail and lightning, um, he will. And he said, no, I, I think back very specifically to a biblical instance um, Pharaoh and his armies they got down in the middle of the Red Sea and he made their chariot wheels come off and then he made the ground go back to being wet underneath them and they all bogged down and then he folded the ocean back on top of them 
Satan thought he was going to destroy the children of Israel. And God destroyed those that were following Satan. And, uh, you know, and I think because naturally there's no way to make it make sense. In modern times, the Battle of Dunkirk, really? You let 300,000 British guys go home. No, it's war. You kill all 300,000. Mm -hmm. Why did Hitler and his generals not do their job? Because God's in control of the shield. God kept those 300,000 Brits because this war was going to continue. When we get to heaven, we'll understand the bigger scheme of what went on behind the scenes in the spiritual realm in World War II. We don't understand all of it. We can't really begin to comprehend it. But that one act alone. And then D-Day. Contrary to what anybody says about D-Day being the greatest one, no. The movie titled The Longest Day? Yeah, okay, I'll give it that. Great? No. D-Day was an absolute catastrophe. And had it not been that right before they were ready to actually launch, that so many things all of a sudden turned back to the advantage of the Allies, D-Day would have ended up with basically everything at the bottom of the ocean. God controls the shields of the earth. The armies of the world can't do anything unless the Lord allows it, and the Lord frequently messes up the plans of the armies of men. Any thoughts or comments? No, sir. And my apologies on the midday meditation. I thought it was shorter. It felt shorter to me. But apparently Tyler told me I was 30 seconds longer. So to our midday meditation watchers, my apologies that I wasn't as short or shorter than I was on the morning with Brian and Tyler. Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow morning. I'm not going to make any promises about time because apparently I messed that up today. So with that, we'll see you then.